Number 53. What is the decrease in entropy of 25 grams of water that condenses on a bathroom mirror at a temperature of 35 degrees Celsius, assuming no change in temperature and given the latent heat of vaporization to be 2,450 kilojoules per kilogram? All right, so first thing with this, I'm going to start with the question. What is the decrease in entropy? So I have my entropy formula over here. So change in entropy, all right, must be, oops, that's Q. Change in entropy must be equal to change in heat transferred into the object or out of the object divided by the temperature of that object, okay? Now, we know the heat, uh, we know that entry, it says decrease in entropy, right? So we know that this is going to be negative. And if this is negative, what that means is that one of these have to be negative. The temperature is in Kelvin. Kelvin is never negative. It's an absolute temperature, right? It's either zero or some positive value. So the negative thing is going to be coming from the, the uh, heat transfer, basically. All right. So we know heat's going to be lost. Now that should make sense because they're talking about condensing, right? This goes back to concepts in chapter 13, I think it was. All right, so we're talking about condensate, or maybe it was 14. I don't even remember at this point. Um, I'm not even sure what problem I did before, right? <laughs> anyway, uh, so what I have to now think about is how is Q connected to this heat of vaporization, the condensation, and the mass of water? You might say, oh, right, right, right. I remember the formula, right? Q is equal to mass multiplied by the latent heat of vaporization or fusion. So in terms of... This is the, the heat energy lost to condensation, because that's an energy uh, loss type of uh, uh, phenomena, is equal to the mass then of the water that is condensing multiplied by the latent heat of vaporization. So I can now take this result basically and plug it on in for Q. Okay. Now you might say, well, why is this not delta and this is delta here? It, you know, in some of these problems, it doesn't, this is the heat energy lost basically, right? So I should technically put in a delta Q there, but it doesn't really matter. If you didn't have the delta there for this problem, or if you put the delta here, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. So here, the change in entropy now is going to be equal to the mass that condensed multiplied by the latent heat of vaporization of water divided by then the absolute temperature. So it sounds like we have everything we need. We just got to make sure we have the right units. Uh, entropy is generally given in, in joules per uh, Kelvin, but you know it could be in kilojoules. It doesn't really make a difference as long as you're consistent, but I'm going to put it in, in joules, okay? So they gave us 25 grams of water, but you know here the latent heat is in kilo, uh, excuse me, kilograms. So we need to convert this gram into kilogram. So take the 25 and divide it by 1,000, okay? Then we're going to multiply it by the latent heat of vaporization. So that works out to be uh, 2,450, though, kilojoules. But we need that in joules, so we got to multiply that by 1,000. Right? And if you notice what happens there with the thousands, divided by then the temperature, this has to be in Kelvin. Okay, so this is 35 plus then the 273. And now, voila, thousands cancel, so I really didn't even need to do a conversion, but how would you know that ahead of time if you didn't write it out, right? I didn't, but actually you might. I mean, that's that's totally cool, but... I got to write it out personally. And then divide it now by the 35 plus the 273. This works out to be an entropy change, a loss basically, right? There's there's a little negative sign. I could have carried that negative sign all the way down. And then this is 199 or so, 199 joule per Kelvin. All right. And that is that. So guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Hopefully this helps. Please help us out and subscribe. Hit that like button, tell your friends. All right. We look forward to helping you with more problems. Take care.